Using the Flutterfire CLI, we can set up Firebase in our Flutter projects for iOS, Android, web, and macOS. In a new or existing Flutter project, add Firebase core as a dependency in the pubspec.yaml file. Next, let's create our Firebase project in the Firebase console. Tap on Add Project, give the project a name, enable or disable Google Analytics, and create the project. Open up the terminal and install the Flutterfire CLI with Dart Pub Global Activate Flutterfire underscore CLI. Then install Firebase CLI tools with npm install g Firebase tools. Now we have to sign into Firebase with Firebase login and select the account we created the project with. Before we generate our Firebase options file, let's make sure our project's Android app ID and iOS bundle ID are set to the proper values. In the app level build doc gradle, change the application ID to your desired app ID. Remember to change the old application ID in the Android manifest and main activity files. To change our iOS bundle ID, open up the iOS folder in Xcode and change the bundle identifier in targets runner general. We're ready to generate our Firebase options file. Now we could just type flutterfire config, select our project, and generate the files that way. But I like to specify the app IDs and bundle identifiers for each platform, especially when we're dealing with multiple app flavors. We do this by writing flutterfire config, backslash enter to go to the next line, dash dash project equals the ID of our project, which can be found in our Firebase project settings, dash dash out equals the path and name of the file we want generated, dash dash iOS bundle ID, our iOS bundle ID, dash dash macOS bundle ID, our macOS bundle ID, and finally, dash dash Android app ID, our Android app ID. Here we're going to select all the platforms we want our Firebase config file to include. Now if we take a look at our lib directory, our Firebase options.dart file was generated. We also see all the apps generated in our project settings. To avoid any Android and iOS version errors, set Android min SDK version to 23 in the app level build doc gradle, and set iOS platform to 11.0 in the pod file. Once you enable macOS in your project, set the OSX version to 10.12 in the Mac apps pod file, and enable client internet permission in the debug profile and release entitlements. If you get any errors related to this in the future, make sure to look up the proper versions to use. The final step to link our project to Firebase is to initialize Firebase in main.dart. Import Firebase core and the Firebase options file, add widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized, and then call await Firebase dot initialize app, passing in the default Firebase options dot current platform. Our Flutter Firebase app now runs on Android, iOS, web, and macOS. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe, and check out my full Flutter courses on launchclub.io. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.